Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about low frequency budgets. On our room forums, we show you, you know, budgets for resolution. If you're after a certain resolution, if you're a hobbyist, if you're a professional, semi-pro, or mastering engineer, you know, you, you require a certain resolution in your room. What does that really mean? It means less issues to have to work around, better translation. I mean, that's the bottom line here, right? So typical budgets we see for low frequency, 5K, 10K, 20K. What you have to realize in spreading this money out is that you have three sound fields that you have to technically treat. Floor to ceiling, sidewall, sidewall, front wall, and rear wall. So there's three areas that we have to treat. Basically, we have to treat the whole room if you're serious about going after all the issues. Type, the treatment, the amount, and the position of it. So. Well, let's take a 5K budget. So we always know that the front of the house, the front wall between our speakers, this wall here, that's the area of highest pressure. So with a 5K budget, you know, you're going to get four to five of our carbon units and put them across the front wall. Now, it doesn't do anything for the sides, doesn't do anything for the rear, doesn't do anything for the floor to ceiling. You can work your way up to that. You can stage it. People do it all the time. At 10K, you can really treat two walls because the definition of an axial mode is unwanted low frequency pressure between two parallel surfaces. So it's two walls that are causing the problem. It takes two to tango, remember that expression? So you're going to need, if we're going to treat the front wall and we're going to really get serious about the issues on the rear wall, then we've got something to talk about. And that's usually going to be in the 10K range because you're going to need 8 to 10 units and they're about 1000 bucks a piece. So you got about $8,000, $10,000 there in, in, in uh, coverage. 50 to 65 square feet of coverage. Our units are 5 foot high. They're 5 foot high for a reason because most of them go into 8 foot ceiling heights. So you got to get that 50 to 65% surface area coverage to really have an impact on the mode. And, and that's what we found, because they're powerful. And one unit, two units, you know, it's not going to do what you need it to do. So you got to have a minimum surface area coverage. I mean, we see peaks below 100, 10 dB, up to 15 dB. And those are huge peaks. And you can't EQ your way out of that nightmare. It won't sound right. So the ACD in the carbon panel, about 1.5 dB per unit, because it's 12 square feet. 30 to 300 cycle range for the 10. So 50, 65 feet, you're looking at four or five units per wall. And that's where the 20K comes in. People that have that kind of dollars can then treat all the walls and basically build a new frequency response friendly environment. So it's you've heard the expression room within a room. Well, that's kind of what we're doing here. We're not getting out the hammer and the nails and the saw. But we're using panels to create a room that's more frequency response balanced. Our technology is the way your, your room should be built. It's the way the wall should be built. Density, absorption rates and levels, all of that. Most small rooms take about 16 units. It's usually about 50 square feet per wall that we see constantly. So that's what you're looking at. Axial modes, as we've gone over before, are the most audible and they take two walls. So if you're really serious about going after the big issues, we can analyze which two walls are causing the biggest problems. And then if you have an appropriate budget, you know, we, we can work from that point forward. So let's see what we got here. Floor to ceiling. Oh, yeah. Don't forget about the floor to ceiling. So many people forget about this. And they look at the four walls, and that's good. There's nothing wrong with that. But remember, we got three sound fields in a room. And that floor to ceiling issue, you know, it's at eight foot, it's 70 hertz. 70 is in everything. And you can't hear it. Or you won't hear it, you hear too much of it, depending on the other dimensions in the room. So, you know, usually we see those two big peaks below 100, and then that big slide at 70. And that's the floor to ceiling. You can't have that. That's too much lost information in your mixes and your listening experience. So low frequency budgets, 5K, 10K, 20K. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. 
We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.